How's it going, everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon, and welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we, uh, you know, went to talk with Changeling and Clara and Murky at the Crowstone, and she died twice. It's fine. Uh, you know, we also went to the dead item shop, got some food. It was mostly about recovering Murky. And Bad Grief died, too. It was just the death episode last episode. Uh, this episode, we are trying to prevent the death episode by, uh, searching for Murky, because I think... Why she kept dying is I kept talking to Changeling. But I think she's just at her, uh, her, uh, her, uh, corner. A corner, sure. That's, <laughs> that is not a corner at all by any definition. But go ahead. Go ahead, Murky. Hi. And I could also, uh, go talk to Yulia as well. But I, I'm really thinking this is a Daniel situation where it's like, I don't, I don't have to do that. If I know the Inquisitor is coming, then that is just a huge waste of my time. How could a man recover some health? Do I have any, uh... Morphine. I mean, the first thing that came to my head was opiates, and I was like, that's not what it's called. That's not right, but... I mean, I guess it's kind of right. Jesus, music. <laughs> Too intense. What? What? Like, they couldn't even give you this. Like, they couldn't even give you... Your inventory rearranges itself when you can fit something. It's just in the wrong spot. Like, no, no, no. This game pulls it on you. It's like, now, fucker, drop everything you're doing. <laughs> Go fix it. You kind of just have to love it. Any kids out tonight? Of course not. It's sleepy times. Bad time for Bonzo, except Bonzo is, <laughs> isn't a monkey. It's every single child in the entire town. <laughs> Ronald Reagan is going to have his hands full. Man, I got a lot of food tonight. That is really nice. That is really nice. But it won't even last me like three hours tomorrow. I knew it. I just knew you found me. And you have an eye. Fuck you. No one would chase a man out into the open step, you moron. This is where the magic happens. Know that Shabnak and stuff? God, you suck. What does the world come to when they don't believe in superstitions anymore, huh? When they're not immediately frightened off. <laughs> Thank you. Please, sweet baby Jesus Murky, please be in there or I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Sky rockets in flight, please. Uh. Oh. Good, um. <laughs> nice. Mistress of the Bulls, indeed. Um. You're not Mistress of the Bulls, Murky. That's Taya. You're silly. Okay, Murky is nowhere then. I cannot deal if Murky dies after all this, because I can't replay everything. It'll take so long. It'll take so long. And it's just been too much fucking replaying in this goddamn playthrough. She's gonna die, isn't she? I don't understand. Was I not good enough or something? Like, to her? Did I choose, like, terrible dialogue options or something, and now she hates me, and she's doomed to die? Uh, just so much, man. Like, you, why you gotta burden a guy like that? Fuck. Just, I, there's not, I don't... It, there's nothing I can do. It's just in the fucking hands of the powers that be. It's in the hands of fate. Stars are pretty. They're real pretty. This game's fucking beautiful. And allow us to eat. We will eat, uh... Fresh meat, why not? I'll need a little more sleep for tomorrow. Yeah, maybe like two hours, three hours. Fuck you, just fuck you, just fuck all of you. At least no one lives here, that's pretty nice. But oh, what a weird thing, oh my god, oh my god! This game just hates me, this game actually knows that I love bad grief, it has to. How else could it just so deftly fuck me in the ass every single time I try to treat him? It's a, it's a mystery, it's a mystery to some. But to me, I feel like I know the answer. It's that this game hates me. Shouldn't say that. <laughs> this, this game will be nostalgic forever. Like, walking into that door, dude. I can't imagine how good I'm gonna feel, like, to play this game again. Like, you know, after I haven't played it for, like, years and years or whatever. Playing it again. Oh, man. It's gonna be fucking incredible. Uh, don't know if that's the best choice. Let's... I'd really like to use a plus on, uh, on old Stickbick. There's something, there's something, there's something in my eye. This is an emergency. Nah, fuck it. Just take a zerk. I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, really should have, really should have sprung. Should have sprung, but I saved, so it's okay. 
I guess, because I have no patience. <laughs> so, like, me saving before doing important things is, like, good effort. But also, if it's more than, like, an hour or two of progress back, you're, you're, um, that's a rough, a rough, uh, order, I guess. Because this is a McDonald's. Are you, are you unaware of what you walked into? Just don't worry, I'm going fucking crazy. I have no water. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, well... Yeah, just tap this shit dry, I guess, as soon as we can, and make what we can. Yeah, like, I have to make more tinctures, but I have, like, no water. Eight water? Make two of each tincture and two plus tinctures. That should be easy enough. One, two. One, two. Out of brown twire! Okay. Oh, God damn it! I had a medrol. I didn't need to do... Okay. All right. That's fine. And... I'm going to be out of water, though, if I do that. But I can get water pretty much anywhere now. Like, it's all refilled back in, in these districts. So it really shouldn't be too hard to find some water. Like, I got some just up here. It shouldn't be too bad. But I lose the bottles. Holy shit. The bottle shortage has, uh, has officially begun. Damn it. Damn it. No, you fucking, you fucking scumbag son of a bitch. Do you see this? I hate you. Blood twire and black twire look exactly, uh, brown twire look exactly the same on the chart. Isn't that nice? That's why you make your own diary, ladies and gentlemen, and not this bullshit. Let's use the white whip. Okay, and let's go get more water. Somehow, haha, <laughs> somehow, because I'm out of bottles. Hee <laughs> hee, aha. Can I pour this out? Please, God, give me the bottle. I'd rather have a bottle than bull blood. God damn it! Useless for crafting, useless for me! Sorry about that. That was a bit of an emotional outburst, wasn't it? That's fine. It's How can okay. People protect themselves from the infection? I just injected Your you with fucking plants, idiot. No. I do know! I resent him being such a little salty bastard. What do you know, huh? Smart guy. Also, Murky's not dead. Just would love to point that out. It's not 7.30 yet. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. I almost said don't count your crows before they hatch, but nobody hatches crows. <laughs> oh, young Vlad. I've talked to you one time. Pretty great. Pretty insane. Like how when you know things about this game, you're not so desperate for, like, information. You're not clawing at everyone like, please, just... Tell me something useful. It's pretty great. I don't like him. Mr. Red Hair, weird eyes. Everyone has kind of a weird face. That's okay. Like, look how smooth Reuben is. That is the smoothest Reuben I have ever seen. <laughs> You're fucked, Clara. <laughs> she literally hates her so much. The best. Really? What is that? I forgot about that. Uh, of course she did. Of course she did. Of course she did! Did everyone hear the news? What? Are you actually fucking with my mind? Outside world, rubbers of blood, of helly telly smelly mo belly, kids arrive at the station. What the fuck? Okay. What was I supposed to do? I don't... I don't remember what I was supposed to do! Dude, are you kidding me? That's so shit! Fine. Fuck you, game. Take my fucking kids. It's on the list. She's on the list. She's on the list. I... What the hell? What the hell? In Reuben 2? What? Did I, I do his quest and he, he fucks off and dies? Yeah? Is that about correct? I do everything right and they both die? And fuck this game. I'm not going back. I'm not. I'm not going back. Yeah. Mm. Let's go talk to Capella. 
That's really important. I need to get the serum out of the thing. Hang on. No, no, not right now. Not right now and not yet. You get to wait outside. Fucking chuckle monkey. What a shit day. What a shit day. Just dead. Just dead. Not even anything. Gotta love that. I said two episodes ago. Really nice how this game celebrates your victories, but... Go away. I mean, I guess, I guess as soon as I held the fucking cure in my hands, that music started playing, but also... Oh, all the music is playing. Because I'm a walking, living god. Yes, hello. Bye. So fucking good, man. Do you even hear this shit? Theodore Bastard's a fucking legend. Okay, I was like, I swear to God if the station's also infected. That's just the icing on the shit-covered cake. Yeah, <laughs> You like how he played a little uh, red light, green light with me there for a second? Red light! Just kidding. Didn't work. I'm just gonna string this dude around the entire town. He he's he's going with me on all of my fucking... Ah! No, he's not! Artemy Burak. Well... The Glaelic, a state inquisitor and commissar for critical emergencies, has arrived in town. She has chosen the cathedral as her base of operations. As one person responsible for the current situation, you have been invited to a meeting. Immediately. Immediately? Doesn't sound like an invitation. More like a notice of interrogation. I'm responsible for everything that's happening here? You're not trying hard enough. How about stamping the state inquisitor seal on your forehead? Now that would look official. Artemy Burag, no one cares what you want. Inquisitor plans to solve the current crisis in under a day. The cows that bellow loudest give the least milk. No. What was the name? Burak. She's no cow. She's a wolf. Got it. Wipe the drool up, will you? Or did the Inquisitor appoint you her personal bootlicker? Got it. Guess I might as well take a look at this miracle. Uh, bootlicking piece of shit. Immediately. Piss off. An Inquisitor arrived to town. She wants to see me. I want to show her what I know. Wait, what? I know what to show her. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I have no water. Fuck. I need to check, um... <laughs> need to check the garbo cans, please. Fuck. Please. Fuck. Please. Yes. Yes. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, that's okay. At least I got two. Literally, what the fuck is this logic? I, I hate it. It's the path of logic. Ha! <laughs> it's interesting the path of a logic, like, intro, happens for Clara's route. Hey, what's going on? People say Anna went to the river at night to drown mice. Guess she helped to cure herself. Cure herself by drowning mice? She threw some sack into the gullet. I don't know what's inside. We have a custom. To avoid bad fortune, one must drown a mouse. You see, trouble grabs its tail, thinking it has grabbed luck. By the time trouble realizes its mistake, the flow of water drags it away. So they must be drowning mice, even though we don't believe in such customs. Or we sacks into the gullet. Curious. Very curious. Something I haven't seen before. Amazing. Anna Angel. Uh, something bad is happening at her place. Okay. Let's go talk to Capella, and then we'll go talk to Anna. About you, M. Shen. About Yagashin. You see the lines far ahead. We only see them close. Earth tells us that Burak's line will lead him to great wrath soon. You will face a trial. To help, we offer you a gift. Our silence. Silence? How will your silence be of help to me? Are you testing me? You already know. The minds are the art of hearing. Hearing the cavities within solid bodies. Hearing the points where flesh longs to give in. Hearing where the world longs to give in. You're a hearer. Murmurs and commotion distract you. So we fall silent. Come on. It's the opposite. I need your advice. Well, he, you need no advice from the crowd or the murmuring of passers. Listen to your heart, Emshin. Listen to whoever is important. The kin will no longer speak to you in the streets. Hope you reconsider, you big fucking idiots. Like the biggest gaggle of fucking morons in the world. Because again, they're so damn hypocritical. It's like Burak's line, ha, we just gotta trust in Burak. It'll all work out. He's one of us, you see? And then when I, you know, it gets to the end and I'm like, actually guys, I kind of want to um, cure the plague. Like unbelievably, I kind of want it just to be done. And uh, Tower's gotta go. 
They're like, what the hell? In your heart, was that in your heart, Artemy? You can't, was it in your heart? And then he's like, yes, it was in my heart. And they're like, no, it wasn't. You're a liar. Like, <laughs> they suck. I am unafraid to say it. The kin have their place. And I, you know, think they're very interesting. But they suck. They're assholes. They're fuckheads. And they don't think about anything. Anyway. It'll never leave this place. Even if just to visit someone. Mother never traveled either. Do you think that's awful? Sometimes I recall that the wire world is vastly different from our corner. And yet I know nothing of it. Well, it does limit you. I only came, in, came into my own after I left. And it's the same everywhere. Say, uh, did you by any chance call to me? Sense this strange prickling, like you needed me. Yes, you have such a sensitive heart. It never lies to you. You can hear. You can truly hear. I mean, I didn't call you on purpose. I can feel the town and touch it. It sings. And you hear its songs too. You understand, don't you? It's a pulse. You've sensed it. Tell me. What is it like? It did feel like a pulse. Felt like someone was staring at my back. Like I got a black thorn stuck under my foot. Uh, like intuition. I am expected. I need to come. That's it. Anyway, something horrible is about to happen. And I can't do anything myself. No one would listen. Not yet. That's why I thought of you. I guess. You're the only one who can take this seriously. It's about Grace. She's all worn out, coming apart at the seams. No one sees it. Not even Grace herself. No one helps her get a grip. I'm afraid she'll... Die? Get sick? Lose her gift? Die? I'm not sure. I'm not that good to see her yet. But I know if she comes unraveled now, that would be it. No one would be able to piece her back together. Can you pay her a visit? Can you help? If I have the time. I almost certainly will. But I'm almost certain. Wow. 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 I am terrible. I'm terrible. I'm an awful person. I'm like, ah... Who cares if Peter dies? Well, Grace cares if Peter dies because he she kind of needs him. Kind of needs him for stability. Okay. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at foresight. Cool. It's fine. My inventory is so full. I'm going to go talk to Anna. Was it because I didn't give the blood to Daniel? Was it, was it because I didn't go to Yulia? Like, why did Murky die instantaneously? I know she got infected last time. Instead. I just know she did. Whatever. It's whatever. I'm just actually kind of salty about it. I'm fucking annoyed because I feel like something is wrong. Like, because one time I treated bad grief and it was like, actually, no, you did not treat bad grief. You are a liar to your entire family. Dishonored. Dishonor, and just can't agree. Just can't fucking agree. I don't understand why this is happening to me, and I hate that this is an empty goddamn hour. Sorry, I kind of devolve into just complete nonsense when I'm in my like ranty rant phase. It's just, it's just hard, man. Like, how how do you brush that off? I mean, I could look it up, right? But I kind of don't want to. I don't really want to look up why that's happening, but I could. And I should. And it would help me learn. But also, I feel like this game should just be a bit more fucking clear with its intentions. I can't believe that she's dead. But it is what it has to be. You can't save everyone. And you also can't go back and do two hours of gameplay progress over again. Just for a hopeful goddamn sniffing chance that Murky isn't dead. But that's what the game wants from you. I'm sorry. It's... I'm sorry. This is why this series is so inconsistent. Some shit like this always happens. And it's because it's the nature of the game. I'm not even, like, blaming it. It's good that it's like this. It's just pain. Why do army rations suck so much ass and take so much goddamn space? It's fine. Everything's fine. I could name every episode of this goddamn series. Everything's fine. And it would... It would apply. Oh, damn it. Why didn't I put my herbs away? What is wrong with me? Ah! All right, Anna. What's the squealio? You know? <laughs> Get it? Because a rat's in a bag. Squealio instead of dealio, Anna. Eh? <laughs> Doesn't seem like she's much for jokes. Hey, girl, what's up? A man-eater of clay and bone and hair. She's the killer. 
How am I supposed to believe anything this woman says when th this is this is what she believes? Anyway. Listen, Burak, I'm in trouble. I was cursed yesterday. Well, what do I have to do with it? This is the doing of your step butchers. Your rippers. You're a ripper. So you must know how to undo it. Undo what? There's a man around town who can divine the future by reading entrails. A step haruspex. He dissects the dead, or dying, and tells the future. They say he's always right. Got a ton of clients. And, well, here we are. Really? Me? Uh, so is it the dead or dying? Okay, right. Uh, here, where? Uh, so is it the dead or dying? Why the fuck should you care? Nice! There's no salvation from the sand pest. They're all walking corpses anyway. This way, at least. They serve the living. And the living in question would be you, yes? Get lost. In her own house. And the living in question would be you, yes? So I called upon his services. There was this... thing. That I really, very much needed to know. And now I've got this. Heart. I've tried to throw it away. Drown it in the gullet and the guzzle. Bury it. But it always comes back. I keep finding it in my bag or in my bed or in my pocket. Just thrust my hand there and... and... Ah, I know this curse. It happened to me when I was a kid, too. Really? <laughs> you just woke up one day and a heart was in your pocket, bud. Uh, then you ought to share this with the changeling girl. Sounds like her area of expertise. But what did you want to know? Whether I'll survive. Oh, well, that I can tell you for free. Outlook, not so good. You? Oh, you will. Everyone else may drop dead, but the likes of you always weasel their way through. No, they don't. I'm good, Burak. He had no idea he'd kill someone. I had no idea he'd kill someone. Please, I'm basically on my knees here. Fine, shut up. This heart of yours can't be thrown away, only traded. You have it on you? Oh. I had this curse. I really did. But was it just a dream? The intro was ridiculous. Yes. Hold in your hand tightly. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see my beautiful face. No, wait. I see a spindle of sorts. Fine. If I find a spindle, I'll trade it to you. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to get a goddamn spindle. Where the hell am I gonna get a spindle? One can't throw away bad fortune or cut it off. But it can't be traded. For a spindle. In an angel's case. Great. Why do I care? Why the fuck do I care? I mean, I care because it's something I haven't seen before. But are you dead serious? You dead serious, Anna? You want me to give this big of a shit about you? Why? I don't care. I'm gonna go see Grace. You know I know that's a bunch of snow. The beat is so butter. Keep the slow cutter as he utter a calm flow. Don't talk about my moms, yo. What the hell do you like exactly? Miss has everything I need. Nothing. Cool. Oh, lady, 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 do you have a spindle? Do you have a spindle by chance? Please have a spindle. Have a spindle. Nope. Awesome. Fuck this video game. Why would they fucking ever do this. I hate them. <laughs> they want you to trade at a loss with the kin literally every single time, and I don't get it. Everyone's infected. Everyone's in danger and infected. God damn it. I have to go prophylaxis bad grief and notkin too. I'm not... <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. My commentary kind of falls apart quite often at this point. It's just like... My inventory's full. I have so much to do. Time I'm taking for granted. And people are dropping like fucking flies, including my children. And it's just a lot. It's a lot and it's hard. God, holy shit. Why can't I pick up anything? I just need to clear out my inventory. That's literally two bull bells right next to each other. When and how often does that happen? About as often as you see a unicorn running on the fucking Miami beach, but you know. Okay, got a little bit more space. Put the schmouter and the dead items away too. God, I hate this. So much time. I need a gear and a toolbox to upgrade the Alembic. That's kind of all I care about upgrading at this point. I don't think I can swing another inventory upgrade. I mean, I probably could, to be fair. I have a lot of money. I could- Two sewing kits? Jesus. Christ. Two entire sewing kits, Sticky. It's necessary. That's the peak of fucking necessity. Still gonna go to Grace. Or do I do not can in bad grief first? Nope. I'm gonna go to Grace. I'm gonna come back up this way. I'm gonna get Aspity. I'm gonna get not can. I'm gonna get bad grief. I'm gonna go to the hospital. I'm getting a glare of the bullshit. And as we're and as we're going up that way, I'll treat not can fucking con again. All 
work out. But we'll have to do it on the next episode. If you enjoyed, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in the world, and have an amazing day. I'm me, you're you, but I've really gotta go. Uh, peace out, oh god! <laughs>